Entonces, Topic of this particular it's a basic idea where uh, all the academians, other professors who are Sorry, I think there was some technical glitch that for that reason I was out of the meet. So uh, I was gave, uh, I was discussing on uh, the present presentation which I'm going to say actually is uh, it is with a very basic idea where each interns or each of course uh, students or learners or professionals or professors even the other uh, professionals can very well learn on how exactly this uh, inventory management is. This, uh, let me allow uh, to share my screen first here. Is my screen visible to all? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So this is the basic idea. Of course, whenever we talk about uh, uh, the inventory management, there should be some uh, procurement policy which is which should be placed here in any of the corporate or even the organizations or NGOs, any of the organization, of course, those who are going for a procurement or those who are going for purchase of any of the article, there should be some defined procurement plan. And as per that defined procurement plan, you need to follow it. Clearly. So, so the very first thing is, very first thing is you need to fix the limit. The limit is, what exactly you are going to spend. Uh, if you are going for a direct contract also, then also you need to limit the fund which you are going to use. If you are going for a uh, contract basis, then also you need to limit the fund. Or if you are going for a tendering basis, a global tender or national tender or state level tender also. But there you need to limit the fund which you are going to use. By limiting, actually you are limiting the activities which is to be done uh, uh, by way of purchase. Whenever we talk about uh, limiting the fund, this is the very first process. process. Going down, of course, if you have, we go for a direct contacting or other of this, um, a procurement plan will be there. It should be approved by the competent authority. Under the procurement plan, we are actually forming a one, uh, one of the purchase committee, which will decide on, uh, okay, these many members will be two or three members or four members will be the members of that purchase committee who will be adding that. What are those uh, uh, roles and responsibilities of each member of the purchase committee? What they will do, and 
then uh, we need to actually go for a purchase but before uh, going for a purchase of any of the article we need to take the approval uh, we need to place the request for that particular purchase sanctioning authority uh, uh, under the uh, uh, under the sanction of purchase committee then uh, purchase committee will actually sort an approval from head of the organizations and then we get uh, the purchase approval uh, it's not that uh, we are going for a direct purchase on that it means that okay the process can be nine uh, initiated once the process is initiated on that then we are actually asking uh, going for a survey across companies across vendors even uh, across outlets and then we sort uh, three of the quotations three of the best quotations and out of those uh, best quotations we actually define uh, prepare a competitive statement wherein we are saying that okay this particular article having this specifications and this is the cost so just preparing a cost analysis on that and of course the analysis on the specifications of the goods and articles too and based on those two things uh, specifically parameters are either the quality of that particular product or specification of the product or the rate of that uh, particular product so based on those two things we are preparing a competitive statement whatever the uh, uh, the similar having the similar uh, specifications but the least cost will actually uh, get the particular uh, we we can actually get that approval for that particular article then we need to uh, place an order to the vendor to the agency that okay uh, now approval is been actually sought for that uh, this is the competitive statement and we are going for the purchase of that so this is the plan actually uh, create a procure, procurement uh, coordinator will play, prepare a uh, procurement plan submit a procurement plan for approval and then uh, procurement co coordinator will sort a noc also or uh, of course uh, approval again and then they need to actually go for a uh, uh, supply of that article for sub, uh, we need to go to the supplier in a send name or inform him that we are asking for this sort and quotation open and quotation on that evaluate the quotation recommend the award or uh, per, uh, generate the purchase order and the uh, goods receiving uh, number or the payment to be done so this is the basic format where uh, each and every organization is actually working on whenever they go for a procurement now once uh, this procurement comes in okay uh, it means that we are in the place of or we are having a sum of the inventory in our hand so what are those types of inventories see in inventories if whenever we talk about the inventories inventories are of two type uh, that is for the fixed asset which is non movable and secondly is uh, the consumables which are of course uh, consumable in the daily basis uh, like of stationery like of pen pencil rubber or like of other stuff which is like of petrol so this comes under the uh, consumables but uh, there are certain fixed asset which is been procured or which has been actually which comes into the organizations and that comes under the fixed asset so what we need to do for those um, uh, two of the things that is fixed asset separately we need to dock it or we need to maintain an inventory and for consumables we need to actually uh, arrange a separate document separate register and separate uh, arrangement for that so um, whenever we talk about the fixed asset there should be a proper documentation of each of the uh, asset which are which are coming in uh, inventory verification needs to be done uh, time to time on three quarterly basis or half yearly basis and record of each of the document whatever the documents are there suppose you invite an invitation quotation for that uh, do register the supplier information do register the invitation letter do register the purchase order and the grn and payment details of those things Uh, whenever you actually are maintaining this fixed asset even for this the same thing is to be done for the uh, uh, consumers too but there also you need to take care of record items in different categories because stationery is coming under different category consumers are coming under different category uh, the printer uh, is coming under different categories for it products it is in different category so you need to categorize the things okay this is the stationery this is the Uh, uh, fuel and oil actually, and this is uh, for IT supplies. So that is need to categorize. Probably store all the articles for any fire or other hazard or risk wherever it is placed. Actually, internal transport 
if you are transferring this particular article or if you are giving it to some other department do register do report to your uh, authority also and do um, you know, frame it or docket it in your registers too proper verification by computer authority and then like of same fixed asset value of assets as per the accounting standards for each of the financial year it means it's not only that we are actually entering it in our registers or daily registers this needs to be actually maintained throughout the year for and financial year once the financial year is ending up that is from 1st of april again we need to prepare a second register or uh, just linking that particular register the previous register to the second register endorsing all the articles which are there present with you on which you are going to purchase later on you need to enter all those things this is the process flow where uh, i am telling about um, suppose an organization is going and uh, hiring some of the consultants to work it so what we do is uh, we are actually giving a terms of reference on that what all those activities to be done what kind of scope of the work how many months you will be working with us what can be the payout for that how many sessions will be there how many uh, what all those activity how many team members you will be coming in with that particular thing uh, for that particular task invite and uh, invitations invite and cv collect the cvs shortlist all those uh, people um, among you those who are there actually those who have submitted and generate a contact and uh, give the payment on the deliverables of those services so this is a basic framework where we are actually asking individual person to come in uh, under the community grid uh, we are actually doing this so again uh, one more thing uh, here of course whenever we are talking about uh, whenever we are talking about uh, the assets especially the fixed assets and the consumables we need to tag all those things tagging can be the there is a definite format for that uh, suppose i am putting here an example of a chair this chair suppose i am purchasing it so under the uh, tagging i am writing it on that ch chair uh, which organization name uh, that is my r2b which year i have purchased 2021 which month i have purchased this one and how many number of chairs suppose there are four number of chairs so i will write four a uh, number 1 the second chair will be coming as a number 2 the third chair will be coming as a number 3 fourth chair will be coming as a number four. one more thing of course this comes under the inventory uh, this comes under the fixed asset and whenever we are talking about the fixed asset um, even the this is the chair and uh, there is a timeline for that um, that this will actually uh, perish after 3 years or so but we need to maintain it as an asset and whenever we are at least uh, as per the standards as per the uh, accounting standard this will go um, uh, where actually when you might be thinking of that how to account this particular stuff how to account this particular chair so under the uh, consumers are going of course uh, under the inventory of your organizations fixed asset is also going under the uh inventory of your article but fixed assets are being accounted under the capital goods actually under the capital goods but um, otherwise consumers are not coming under the capital so that is one prior uh, requirement whenever we actually are using uh, accounting standards to maintain on those uh, then comes uh, whenever we are talking about any of the organizations people are working there there can be the expenses for that travel that particular organization might be the chances that that organization is using any of the vehicle there can be a personal those who are coming in there can be the personal those who are going around in around cities in around towns or across uh, countries or across states there can be some uh, who are coming in for your uh, any of the uh, webinars any of the seminars or even the workshop and all those things so how to account for that what to what all those things which are actually necessary to be maintained right suppose i am uh, i am referring that okay i need to pay the salary for my people so just use the letter of salary as, or the agreement on that because on that actually it has been uh, uh, written that okay this particular specific person will be getting this much salary on that and as per those that people salary we need to actually assign that okay this many numbers of uh, people are there and their salaries are there these 
the salary is to be accounted against that particular expenses. Likewise, the travel, travel of that particular vehicle. Suppose your organization is using any of the vehicle. That particular organization is having vehicle. It means that organization is using one of the driver also. That organization, that particular vehicle is on road also. It is, and more specifically, there is a logbook of the vehicle, which actually uh, that particular driver or the person who is managing that particular vehicle keeps on endorsing as per the kilometers. So we need to we need to actually ask whenever the that travel is being done in the uh, days. So just ask the particular driver, okay, what was the kilometer? What is what was the kilometer in your particular vehicle on the morning? And when you came back, what is that particular kilometer? That is odometer reading you need to write out. As for that odometer reading, as per the uh, fuel log, actually, you need to pay against that particular travel expenses. This is for specifically only I'm talking about the travel expenses for the vehicle which you are using for your organization. However, um, the same will be done, same is to be done for the personals also, but there you are asking for how much kilometers of travel you are actually doing. Because only uh, as per the guideline or as per the government guideline or as per the guideline given by your authority, the, uh, the expenses for the personal, for the travel is being actually given as per the kilometers done or uh, the actual bill actually. So that is why. Uh, either you ask that actual bill of the Ola or Uber or whatever the app, um, uh, applications they are using it. If they show that particular bill, okay, then it's okay. Otherwise, just ask how many kilometers of travel was there for you and just look at that, use that particular uh, logbook of the vehicle, fuel logbook of that particular driver, uh, the car, and as for that, pay out, give a payout to that particular person. Likewise, if we are asking, asking people to come in, help us, support us as a resource person for any of the workshop, any of the activities, you need to ask for that particular invoice or you need to ask for that particular bill. As for the terms of reference, because we are actually asking, I was saying that here, to so see here, our earlier discussion, I was saying that, okay, whenever we call as uh, a person, whenever we actually, uh, ask any consultant to come here and hire our, any of the consultant. The terms of reference is to be presented here. Under the terms of references, we are actually giving each and everything. We are giving details of each and everything. Even during the contact generation time also, the complete details have been given that how much how much money will be paid for one kilometer or so. So use that particular terms of reference here. Use that particular bill which he or she is giving to you. Uh, and just pay out, give a payout to that particular person according to that. Likewise, for any of the admin expenses, as per the limit of GFR, that is you know, 25,000 or 50,000, uh, it depends totally upon you. Use the actual bill, use the actual invoice with GST number or so, whatever the requirements are there, as per your organization, as per the government regulations. Use it, ask that particular person to give that particular bill and just pay, give a payout against that particular bill only or against that particular invoice. So that is how the, we need to record the expenses of the organizers. Now, uh, I'm giving you the details about how, when, uh, how or what we have to do. Suppose we are going to arrange any of the program. So in a program, whenever we actually, suppose like here, I'm giving one of the lecture to you uh, regarding the incubation program. So what I need to prepare for that. I required a participant list here. I required the uh, minutes of action. That is uh, minutes of, um, uh, we keep on doing whenever our chief guest, any of the chief guest is there. We keep on sharing the agenda for that. Okay, this will be the time pen. This will be the minutes of action. We keep on taking the screenshots here, even in, in the even in the online meeting, photograph that is for the record. Even for the same purpose, if the meetings are on offline board, you go for the photographs. Then we use the agreement, we use the terms of reference because as for the agreement, as for the terms of reference, you need to pay to that particular consultant or you need to pay to that particular resource person. Use the attendance sheet for the record purpose, attach it with that particular program expenses. Time sheets you need to maintain and daily log, of course, because time sheet and daily log is giving the reference that, okay, these many people were there. 
he or she was present there during the workshop or not that will give you a, a definite direction okay if you get all those things aligned inclined and um, getting the record of those things just um, um, make a pay payout against those invoice or against those bills so that is what um, the uh, today's presentation was very short of course because it's i'm giving you just the basic idea about the uh, management of uh, inventories just i'm summing up uh, i'm summing up again because it's a very short discussion which we are doing and uh, one of the member to join here um, in the later stages what um, i'm going to do is i'm just giving the insight that what we have discussed today we have discussed that whenever we go for a procurement policy or whenever we are going for a purchase just prepare a plan prepare a uh, procurement policy fix the time limit for the uh, each of the activity but what and how you are going to spend form a purchase committee sort approval for that purchase committee sort approval for that particular purchase ask uh, vendors to give the quotations prepare a competitive statement and then place an order under the competitive statement compare two things firstly the price and secondly the uh, specifications or the details of that particular article because that is more specifically you are looking for this is the flow uh, enter the supplier details invite a letter or uh, open a quotation evaluate the quotation recommend the award that is contract for place a purchase order and get a uh, grn number that is goods receiving number and the pay then go for a pay, payment under the inventory management whenever we talk about the inventory management there are two types of inventory fixed asset and the consumables under the fixed asset the proper documentation inventory verification and record of document is essential and the same actually goes for consumables only the major of course thing is whenever we talk about the uh, fixed asset that goes uh, under the expenses of the capital goods or that needs to be actually uh, come under the capital goods and for consumers it's not coming under the capital goods it's on the recurring expenses actually uh, direct contracting is the format where we are actually asking the person to give us um, the uh, information about him about his article and we then we give the invitation letter and generate a purchase order generate a grn number and pay out give a payment of course as per the gfr at 25 up to 25000 of rupees uh, we can spend on with just um, uh, going with the purchase committee that is you need not to go for any of the contract with uh, we need not to go for any of the bidding of course uh, there can be a quotation opening but there cannot be a bidding of course up to the 25000 of rupees as per the gfr whenever we talk about the consumables record the consumables in different categories properly store all the articles for fire or other hazard internal transport whenever we, you are transferring some articles to other organization or the person do record it on your registers proper verification by competent authority value of assets as per the accounting standards that i have to deliver one more thing here uh, the last thing which i am going to actually explain it whenever you get an um, any of the article that is fixed asset just tag that particular article with the name year of purchase uh, month of purchase and number of that particular article suppose i am talking about uh, purchase of this chair so th there are four numbers of chairs like this so i need to uh, actually write it ch oblique 2021 oblique 1 oblique 2 oblique 3 and where it is placed suppose it is placed in my office so okay ch of the office oblique 2021 oblique 1 likewise if it is in class ch oblique class uh, if you are going to um, uh, write the class name name also class one class two oblique likewise so that goes in uh, that is how the procurement or the flow of the inventories are there uh, nothing much to actually give you uh, because it's a very general idea i'm talking about because you people are very raw in that or you people are very much new for these things if I go with the technical details on those, uh, that might be that uh, that becomes a complicated situation you to you to understand actually first. So I have given you a basic idea about the procurement, about the inventory management. If you have any queries, please let me know. 
anyone is having any of the query in regard to this what i am going to uh, tell you that this particular uh, actually inventory management or the procurement policy helps each and every member whether he or she is a doctor whether he or she is a professor whether he or she is a lawyer or any of the other professional this procurement we actually in colleges in schools in uh, our uh, any of the format we are not actually uh, uh, there is no such learning on those these things which is actually very much essential and when we go to the college, uh, our professional world or even the corporates or even the officers or government officers this is the daily based activity which keeps on uh, carrying on we keep on doing actually but there is no such learning on those things in our schools in our colleges but startups entrepreneurs they need to understand they need to learn on those things and that is why um, i i personally thought that this is most important thing which is to be taught to all of the entrepreneurs those who are learning so thank you for us uh, thank you to you all to joining with me listening to me personally on this and if any if at all uh, any of the queries or any of the suggestions do let me know so that i can take it on or else uh, i can close up for the day thank you ramanodi if you have any doubt please let me know or jumna or mentorship anyone of anyone of you are having any of the doubt no sir, sir this inventory management uh, can be software controlled uh, on mobile and other things is it possible to do the tracking method that way uh inventory management on the mobile ha uh, matlab handy matlab aasan ekdam kyunki स्मॉल एंटरप्रेनर्स वन टू वन हैंडल कर सकते ना सर अभी डेलीगेशन करने की जरूरत नहीं है द प्रॉब्लम इज यू कैन मेंटेन द रिकॉर्ड ऑन द मोबाइल बट द बेटर थिंग इज यू नीड टू बी विद एन रजिस्टर्स ऑल दोस रजिस्टर्स ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन प्लेस अच्छा दैट इज मोर मोर नेसेसरी व्हाई बिकॉज़ इन केस ऑफ ऑडिट सपोज योर मोबाइल गेट्स स्टक अप suppose uh, the things get stuck up in your thing and on the same period there is one audit audit team is coming in coming to your yes, office yes, yes. then you yes, are stuck yes, up actually yes 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 so this is Correct, more of the offline thing uh, or i must say it requires a see the audit person they will be asking you okay give me the invoice give me the details of the bill give me the details of the payment give me the details of the approval and suppose Correct. it is it is it is in your mobile then you are stuck up mm yes yes sir so better to go with uh, filing docketing of all those reports yeah. that will the be regular good. method yeah the regular method yes sir yes. Uh, the regular method you can keep it uh, in your uh, folders in your computer also for easy purpose or for recording or uh, actually a smooth implementation on that but whenever the audit is there they will ask to the record of those uh, papers or those mm, yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir thank you sir it was very useful presentation sir you know when you said professionals also can use this method so it see, is a very good tracking I, method also. if you if you see if you see the doctors okay if uh, if you see any of the hospital there is a specific requirement for each of the activity and the yes, superintendent sir. and the superintendent of that particular hospital is actually using i am giving you one of the example i, I can quote you one of the example here uh, just 3 uh, to 4 weeks back i went to one of the hospital just to donate blankets okay to yes, one sir. of the oncology center i asked that okay i would like to donate this much uh, blankets to your uh, hospital because um, uh, just for a good uh, uh, just for a charity purpose you know what happened Uh, the head of that particular department said pradeep ji you need to wait uh, i said what happened actually no no we cannot take it although you are giving it as a donation although you are as you are giving it as a charity but this should yes, come yes. this this asset should come first to in our uh, registers first and for that correct, and correct. that i required a approval from our hospital superintendent then i went to uh, ak singh sir ak okay, sir you are, you are the superintendent of this hospital please allow me to actually give you this he said okay pradeep ji aap aaye to ho jayega wo i am giving it uh, to the our record person 
he signed one of the letter to me okay this has been received by pradeep singh and uh, send it to their people those who are actually working in the store and they maintain that particular record okay the blanket has come to the store and then the store is giving that particular blanket to those particular departments it's never been see in the organizations it's never been like such the way we are thinking for actually and that is why that Proper is why procedure. i took this particular session today because startups and entrepreneurs they should know about this yes sir yes sir yes sir they should avoid wastage unnecessary expenditure over skilling of work repeated cycle redundancy wonderful things can be avoided i mean all wastages can totally be avoided in fact and tracking will be there this is a very important part see, actually it's a it's a backward and forward linking actually see i have yes, given the article to them i have given the blanket to the store person store person has docked it okay 25 uh, uh, blankets have come in okay out of 25 all the 25 have been given to that particular oncology department the head of the oncology department he is also signing on that the person who is actually supervisor there is also signing on that nurse is also signing on that okay this has been delivered so there is a transparency on that okay whatever the article yes, yes. coming in that's been consumed yes so that is why that is why and this needs to be this needs to learn by all actually in any yes, of the form we are doing it or in our houses also we are doing the same thing but in offices because every now and then every six months le every quarterly there is an audit either the internal audit or the external audit so they need to learn on this yes it's a very important discipline actually it should be taught from a young age itself that is what actually i was wonderful sir. schools and colleges this is not been taught nowhere no sir it is never nowhere. Taught. even even in the professional no, no, also they are not teaching these things uh, no 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 they are not teaching even uh, i feel during that education period itself this should be part of their planning curriculum uh, what are you doing how are you know so in, as, as a student uh, whatever they have to encounter regarding their stationery all if they maintain this order then it will become a habit itself see in bcom we are we are actually going for economics of the scale or economics of the country but the person who is going to actually uh, deliver those things he or she is working on the ground for this inventory only and they should learn on these things so yeah jumna you you have any questions please let me know yeah thank you sir thank you very much sir share the presentation sir it's beautiful presentation sir thank you sir any other query please let me know or shall i close for the day okay thanks thanks to all of course for supporting me uh, thanks to my all organizers who are supporting this particular drive uh, thank you to asna foundation thank you to prakrmika thank you to uh, mindcube thank you to my organizer natobi those who are working thanks to all my volunteers those who are supporting in this drive and of course uh, thank you to impact uh, the a very specially able children those who are actually preparing our art work for each of this drive and thank you to all learners thank you namaskar jai thank you sir thank you very much